Hey everyone, today I'm here at Sheet Hapman's headquarters in Toronto. I'm Stefan Kumra of Obscura and I'll show you a couple of sections from our recent album, A Valediction. I want to show you a couple of things that are not jumping into your ear at the first place because all the noodling and all the soloing is uh, something everybody will recognize at the first place but uh, the devil is in the detail. So in Devoured Usurper, which might be one of the easiest songs to play, there are a couple of things that might make it a little bit more interesting. So for example tuning. We are tuned one step down to A standard and uh, if you play with this kind of string gauge it may sound out of tune. So what we are doing is we are playing around with the sustain. So basically the tuning is made on the sustain, so not the first time you, you hit the note, uh, you see where in that case the A is, it's tuned on the sustain, so it's a little bit off. If you hit the first note, it sounds a little bit out of tune, but then it goes into, so that uh, shows a little bit more aggression into the entire song. This was made on purpose, and guess what? I got that from Celtic Frost. <laughs> The first part of this song is super brutal and I think probably the most brutal part of the entire record and it's just lovely to play along live and on the record. So think about the tuning and play along. So here's the second part I would like to show you. The title track A Valediction seems a little bit more like an easy listening song. The rhythmic section is pretty much straight ahead but also here the details might be the, the spice in the suit. What we have in the chorus, it's super easy listening and sing-along material, but uh, we mix a couple of different techniques. First of all, there are a lot of stretchings. Like This works if you work with a short-scale guitar and you really need big hands <laughs> to play it. And the mixture of uh, playing an open chord with a palm muted root note with open string sections is what makes this riff really particular to rehearse for a really long time. Because what you can do is uh, working on the dynamics with especially the palm muted notes. So the less you mute the, the note, the more tone or tonal information you get out of that note. And this is something I'm always playing along, especially in the rhythm guitar sections. So just try around, play this, this riff, play the chorus and try to alter your palm mutings and see what's the big difference in that. 